So, how, where did the concept come from, or the idea then for this? Because I know, obviously, I know you from the TV. I mean, obviously, I know you. I've, I've even seen your books. I've read one of your books. Um, but where, how did the concept come? Because I know, obviously, I know with the escape to the chateau, it's what it is. It works on the tin. You know, you've got a chateau in France. You've done it up. You're still doing it up, and all the rest. But how come? You know, where did the idea come from? This sort of this this tour. We have we have an awful awful lot of people who um, who write to us and ask questions and want to hear more about our story really about why we did it how we did it yeah and as a television series member it's nice to like entertainment on a Sunday evening yeah but you know why did we do it who are we what what motivated us to actually make such a big sort of decision yeah all of those things um, are not really covered by the telly and we and when we get stopped. Uh, when, when, we, when we come back home, yeah. back in the UK, you know, I was back in Northern Ireland last week, and literally every we have people everywhere we go. People talk to us and yeah. want to know a little bit more. Yeah. Now yeah. it's quite hard to get across our um, rest of our story, more details. Um, we've written a book, which is the Dare to Do It sort of book, which gives people a feel for it. Okay. But I think people just want to look. They want to look you in the eye. And they want to ask you questions. And we thought, well, we have events where people come to us, but not everybody can get to um, France. Yeah. It's much easier if we go to people yeah. and give them a chance to come along and see us, um, hear what we have to say and ask questions, uh, you know, there. And they can just sort of, there's, there's a lot of people who are just interested in the reality of it and want to know what's it like, can we do it, you know. Mm. And I think that's where we come into our own on a tour. Right. We will be talking to people in a much more intimate way, yeah. in a way that they will be able to sort of ask us questions as well. Right, that makes sense. Cause I know with the TV, it's edited all the time, you know, they edit it to get it out. Because they want people to watch it, it's got to be watchable, you know. You can, you can you don't want to film someone just painting a wall for an hour, you, you, you've got to sort of get the edit in there, in the, you know. <laughs> There's only so much you can get into a program. Yeah. And the television, it's interesting, we have people come here, and they, 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 one of the comments which is reoccurring is, we are the same as we are on telly. Yeah. That's who we are. Yeah. So I know um, our production company, and the, and the way it's done, is we try and keep it as real as possible. Mm. And we, you know, that's very, very important, that they don't sort of... Um, it, it's not, it's, it, you don't sort of come across, oh, jeopardy and drama that's not there. <laughs> we both think about what we're doing. We wouldn't have jumped into this just to waste money and to end up crying and stuff like that. You yeah, know, it's, that's yeah. not who we are. We, we're, we're planners. You know, Angela yeah. comes from a, an entrepreneurial um, an accountancy as well as designer background. Mm. I'm an ex army colonel, for goodness sake. Yeah. I worked in industry for peer. We are actually sensible. Yeah. And that's one of those things that um, our television. Our television programs are all about being sensible and just sort of knowing you can do it if you just think about it. Mm. It's like, it's like you just touched on there. I mean, you obviously are a pragmatist. You know, with being in the army, being a colonel, you've got to be. Everything's got to be. You know, you by time. You know, you you it's strict. You know, you plan, you plan in advance. Prior preparation prevents piss poor planning. You know, the old peas and all that. Um, Absolutely. <laughs> um, but you know, and obviously with like you say with Angela, Angela, she obviously you know comes from an entrepreneurial background and being an accountant, so they're pernickety as well with figures. So you've obviously gone into this. With both your heads together are very, very, you know, you couldn't get any better. Do you know what I mean? But, I mean, what made the decision by the place in the first place, though? Right, well, I'll come back to the first place. One of the things about that plan, it's interesting, the last bathroom we put into the chateau, I connected the last pipe for the bathroom to the first pipe I put in when I was putting in the first system. Okay. So that planning pays off. Yeah. We don't waste money by thinking, yeah? Yeah. Um, but we see, our idea was to have a simpler life and mm. to enjoy the fact the French have uh, are known not to sort of uh, to have long lunch breaks and to actually have weekends off. Mm. Where we live in France, there are no shops open on a Sunday. Mm. You can't go shopping on a Sunday. Mm. The shops, you know, the, you know, the big supermarkets. Not, 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 not supermarkets as, as such, but you know, the big DIY shops like B and Q and yeah. base equivalents. Yeah. And they shut at lunchtime for two hours. Oh yeah. And you get kicked out. <laughs> yes, yeah, so all the big shops, except for, except for, they're all shut. When you go to a town, yeah. you do not pay for your parking between 12 and 2. The parking is free because that's when you have lunch. <laughs> it's a very different mind, it's a very different mindset. Yeah, and you know, yeah. there's no sort of um, retail therapy in the same way. Yeah. People expect to have Sundays, no shops open, and just having family time and just enjoying life. Mm. It's, 
it's so so different from being at home, especially London. Yeah, yeah. we have not got a twenty four hours a day sort of mentality here yeah. at all, yeah. <laughs> at all, and that is part of what we aspire to because mm. we made the decision we're going to have children, yeah. and um, and then Arthur and Dorothy came along. Mm. How do we have the life which is best for them, best mm. for us? Mm. And that was all part of our decision making. That's what we're going to explain in the tour why we did what we did. Yeah. I hear an awful lot of excuses. People would, oh, I'd love to do it, but. And I'm afraid to say the but means that you're making an excuse. Yes. You don't have a reason. Yes. It, and and we, 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 part of what we were talking about is the fact that, you know, I was over 50 when I met Angela. Mm. <laughs> you know what I mean? Mm. And here we are living in a, in a castle with mm. young children now. Yeah. You, there's no excuse not to fill your life. No. And that's the bottom line is there's okay. no excuse not to do it. Exactly. You, you know, it's like you just said, the butt is what stops a lot of people. 99% of people, 99 out of 100 people would say that butt. It's always that butt. But if you can do it, you can do it and do it. But the last thing, just do it. You yeah. want to create yeah. so, You want to create sort of wanderlust or something like that in people that come yeah. to the shows to say, just get up and do it. You know, plan it, obviously. Don't just go well, and... <laughs> But the dream doesn't have to be a castle in France. No. The dream can be change your career, write your novel. Mm. The, dream can be, uh, the dream can be anything, mm. but it's, it's there to do what you want to do in life. Yeah. And for us, it involves a castle, yeah. um, and it involves um, sort of uh, just silly, silly things. You know, who would buy the castle? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, you with no water, electricity, heating, or sewage. Yeah. That's a stupid thing to do. <laughs> but actually, it's not because it's it, we wanted what we wanted, and we've got it. Yeah. But you see, if somebody just wants to sort of um, get on a boat and sail around the world, get on a boat and yeah. sail around the world. Yeah. You know, do what you want. We only live once, and yeah. we have to sort of find a way through. And it's too easy to sort of uh, wish. Regrets aren't usually made about what you do. It's usually made from what you don't do. And uh, I think it's, but 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 you have to think, and yeah. that's a bit that comes back. Our television series isn't all drama and car crash, and uh, you know people crying and wailing and sort yeah. of thinking, oh, this is terrible. What are we going to do? Yeah. People don't watch it as a voyeur watching us fuck up. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> you know, what they do is they sit down. And they think, oh, look at those little kiddies growing up in there having a lovely time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. it's great because the grandparents are here as well. Yeah, yeah. Dick's family are involved. They come to that. All of those stories are just, it's warm. It's a yeah. lovely, warm thing. And you can make your life like that if you're prepared to do it. Totally. The harder you work, the luckier you get. Yeah. But, but that's actually, you have to work hard at it. It's true. It's, it's not like, just luck. Yeah, it is. It's like with me, I do the same. I, I set up my own little swim business and then do the writing full time as well. So I'm, I'm, I've got the best, best yeah. life in the world. But I made that decision age 40, yeah. you know, and I'll, it's my birthday today. Yeah. So I'm 46 today. I know you, your birthday with the other day, wasn't it? So you were 60, was it? Three days oh, ago? 60, 60, 60 on Tuesday, yeah. Yeah, happy birthday. Yeah, you. So, mate, uh, happy birthday today, fella. And by the way, what a pop. I don't even remember 46 it was so long ago <laughs> <laughs> yeah we're only a pup I, 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 I know I know I feel like it I mean I'm, I'm quite I look after myself you got to have a new <laughs> yeah, but, yeah but how did I mean yeah, can you say youngster. yeah I am a youngster yeah um, but I'm older than Angela so that's <laughs> something yeah 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 that's true that's true yeah so how did you both meet though you know what was the story I mean I've, I, I my wife and daughter watch your show religiously on the TV I mean every single show I, I get in now and again if I'm not doing an event on a Sunday because I do work Sundays a lot you know going out and about but I tend to w- yeah, watch yeah. it but they watch it religiously well, they said, how did you both meet? I mean, I think you touched on it on the show, but is that how you met? I mean, how did you both meet? No, look, we, we met Angela, Angela um, was on Dragon's Den. Yes, and, that's uh, right, yeah, yeah, yeah. Had, and a couple of the dragons sort of um, chose to back her. Yeah. And um, the, 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 my agent and, uh, went and saw Angela and sort of said, you know, um, you, you, you'll be great at tell you, can I be your agent, please? Oh. And so, they, so Sophie... Sophie, who uh, who I knew for years, I knew Sophie yeah. when I was a major in the army. The okay. very the very first sort of um, scrappy challenges, the very early days of scrappy back in the nineties. Yeah. Yeah. I met her because I competed against her husband, ah. and she said, "I want to be your your um, I want to be your television agent." And I said, "Don't be so bloody ridiculous, I'm army colonel." And then all that happened is years later she's my agent looking after me yeah. so I've known Sophie for years and years yeah. and Angela she, she saw what, I, what the Angela could be and so, so can I be your agent yeah. and so we get introduced we get introduced and 
because uh, I, I was divorced yeah. and then um, yeah. and uh, um, uh, and we just we just sort of met very briefly at, uh, at Sophie's birthday party, mm. but then not long after we went out um, together for an evening, and we haven't been apart since. Yeah, no, it's it's proper love story. I mean, you can you can see the chemistry you both on the TV. It's just you know it's a well, proper yeah. love story, you know. No, one of, one of one of the things which is a bit sort of um, people don't talk about, you don't sort of it, it, it's all a bit sort of wrong. We talk about passion mm. and passion for life and, and and energy, and that's. Our life is full of. We have, we have really good arguments, mm, but we have. Yeah. We are also. Um, we are. We are fueled by energy and love, and by sort of all sorts of things coming together. Yeah. And passion. You've got to care. I think there's nothing worse than people go through life trying to be mediocre or just being gentle and not caring enough. Yeah. And one thing we do have is we've got lots of sort of constructive, positive um, things going on between us, mm. and that to me is you know that, that's what life is about. Yeah. Yeah, no, it is. I mean, I mean, you must have some sort of ding dongs about <coughs> some of the things being you do to the chateau. I mean, you can see it on the TV. Oh, yeah. <laughs> a lot and lot. <laughs> yeah, we do, of course, we do. But, but, but actually, the thing is, we um, we do have. Oh, Andy doesn't do compromise in any way, shape, or form. <laughs> as a designer, you can't afford to. As an artist, you can't afford to, because otherwise, yeah. you end up being mediocre. Yeah, yeah. And she doesn't. She's very, very good at what she, she her vision is always, and she pushes it through. Mm. But when it comes to decisions on the chef and things, we both have a veto, mm. which means you know, if, if something I say no to, it's no. If something she says no to, it's no. Yeah. But then we have to we have to see it. If there's something in the middle that we both want to work on yet, uh. so it is. It's, it's important. It is important to try and get that balance. Right, okay, okay. That's that's why right. I mean, it's that connection, isn't it? Once you've got the connection with somebody, you know each other, you know. Yeah. Like you say, you got that yeah. veto. Um, I mean, with, with, with the, the chateau, though, I, mean, I know you do, this is just like um, a question I've always wanted to ask, and it, you only rent it out for weddings, don't I'm, you? You're breaking up on the phone. Sorry. You're breaking up, I don't know how you're speaking. Is that better? Okay. Yeah, yeah, better. yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, sorry. Um, with the chateau, do you, is it only still rented out for weddings, or can people then? Are you going to turn it to like a hotel type thing? Oh no, it's definitely not a hotel. No, no, it's it, it's it's only for events. Yeah. Um, and, and we've we've never done bed and breakfast or anything like that because that's not what we want to do. Yeah, okay. So we've always done events, and we do we do occasions and things here. We do. But that's because we have to try and generate some time for the family. Yeah. Why? Why try and live the French dream if you're permanently working? Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. It's, it's just, so that's why we try and keep some time to ourselves. Yeah. And uh, as well as that, we are we are actually making television programs as well, so we do need to be able to work. So. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, true, <laughs> true. Yeah, if you're a hotel, you'd be a bit boring, wouldn't it? If people just turn up. But I mean, how did the um, the idea? Uh, how did the idea for the TV come up? Come about then the TV program for the Exit to the Chateau. Uh, well, you see, the thing is, um, uh, I, 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 from 2003 onwards, I've been a television star. I've actually been a television presenter. Yeah, yeah. And what we wanted to do, what we wanted to do, we knew was going to be interesting. Mm, uh, yeah. And so we said, right, oh, okay, and why? It, and we didn't, we weren't, it, it's, it wasn't a definite. We just thought, let's explore whether or not we want somebody to follow us doing what we're going to do. Okay. Um, and so we said, and we had a very definite idea. And our idea was very definitely, it was one way of possibly sort of earning at the chateau. Yeah. That's just obviously sure I could always do it. The other thing was, it, it, it had to be right. And we weren't, I've got actually up in my office a list of all the revenue streams we thought of for the, um, when we moved to the, ca uh, the chateau, how mm -hmm. we could make money yeah. to live. Yeah. 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 And three from the bottom, it says Channel 5. <laughs> you know <what> I mean? <laughs> because because some, some of the channels are interesting, but there's about sort of 20 ideas before that. Yeah. And what we did was, it was just sort of serendipity in that we sort of ended up with um, a saying, we want to do this. Somebody saying, all right, we're interested in and seeing. It, to begin with, the whole, all the discussions were quite sort of robust because we were never going to agree to somebody following us to make a series that we didn't want to make. Yeah. So we couldn't have all of this overly dramatized, ramped up uh, Jeopardy type thing. We, were, we refused to do that completely. Yeah, yeah. And so what we said, it has to be real. You have to follow it and it has to... Uh, um, um, and that's, that's something we've stuck by our guns. Yeah, And so okay. all the way through, we, all the way through, we've made sure that... Um, but they just follow us when we're we, when we got something that's worth following, and, yeah. and it's and it just shows. It, we just wanted it to be real. We didn't want it to be sort of um, one of these. Um, bullshit. You don't want all the know, bullshit. Entertainment programs. Yeah. You don't want to be like um, oh, the only way aesthetics and all that crap. Absolutely. 
Well, I can't say that, but no, absolutely not. Yeah, because that's, 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 that's the kernel on you, that is, if you, want, you know, you're stuck to your guns. <laughs> you, have to, you have to do that to begin with. Yeah, 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 you do. It's really important you have the, the, have the you know your objective. Yeah. You know what you're aiming for right at the very beginning. Yeah, no, it is. It is. Um, I mean, I'm a, is, it, is it just you there, or is Angel, Angela there as well, or is it just yourself? Uh, because you're talking to me, she's actually like, we've got some guests, we've got a wedding starting. Oh, today. no, 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 sorry, sorry, sorry. She's talking to the guests. Yeah, because I Debbie said to speak to both of you, but it doesn't matter. I mean, you, you're more than, I appreciate your time anyway, that's fine. <laughs> okay. Well, thank you. <laughs> no, no, it's fine. Um, but no, I'll, um, I could ask you more and more questions. I mean, I think I've got, I'm not sure how long I've got left <laughs> with you. Well, well, actually, I've got people waiting for me, so whenever you're ready. Right, okay. Well, fire away, fire away. No, I was just going to say, has you, have you watched the biggest regret then about the, the with the chateau? A regret? Yeah, any regrets with, with no. anything? None. There's, there is no regrets. And, um, and that's not said lightly. That's not a sort of a no everything for birthday. Mm. It is. We've not, we, we've made the right decision. Yeah. All the way through. There hasn't been any sort of low points where you're pulling your hair out and thinking, oh no, what are we going to do? We've not done that. Mm. We planned it through and because we had a plan and we do A followed by B followed by C, yeah. we've actually been very, very lucky and it's just sort of, we worked hard at it and, yeah. and that's why, you know what, if there's a problem, we fix it. Mm. It's as simple as that. If there's a problem, we fix it. And there is, we haven't, we haven't, there's, uh, there's no cool regrets whatsoever. Mm. Mm. It genuinely isn't because we're, we're just sort of living um, a life fully and just we smile a lot. We were talking about it this morning actually with the kids. Mm. You know, we took them to the to school and um, Arthur and Dorothy are bilingual. Yeah, They're yeah. The, only, the only English speakers in the school um, and they're going off to school and under our sound up just thinking, you know, this, uh, it, it's a very, very lucky situation to be in. Yeah, We've yeah. made some good decisions. Yeah. I I I I'd love to be in your shoes. I, I I'm honestly I'm inspired, and every time I see the, when I get to see the show, I'm thinking, I wish that was me doing that. <laughs> you know. But we, hold on, we tell people to be fair. Um, if you're, this is a, we've aimed at a very silly thing. Yeah. And we and we pulled up a very big silly thing. Yeah. You can buy a manor house here for around um, fifty k. Seriously? A mansion, a manor house in the mansion. You can buy one for 50k. Jesus. And it isn't anywhere near the work we've got, but you can end up living in a manor house. Fucking you know hell. what I mean? And yeah. that, you put that into context. Yeah. You, but you have to sort of decide how you're going to fund yourself, how you're going to live, what you want to do. Yeah. But I wouldn't, I wouldn't say to everybody go buy a, a chateau. It's not everybody's dream. Yeah. But if you actually think about living a simple life, you can buy a farm over here. For, for for next to you can buy a farm, you can buy small holdings. You can you can you can have a big house. You can have a townhouse. But you, the sort of things you have to want the life. Yeah, yeah. And, and do, you can imagine having no shops open on a Sunday and two-hour lunch breaks. <laughs> yeah, that's yeah. what you get. That's what you get in rural France. Yeah. And um, come on, it it puts life into context. Well, you know, are we working to live or living to work? Yes, uh, I, I mean, I, I, I mean, I can just say where I live. I live in the um, west of Cardiff by the sea. It's countryside, so it's very rural. The nearest shop's three miles away, but we are, they are open. And I, I understand what you're saying. I've lived in London, I've lived all over the world, and I've chose to live here. But what you, mm -hmm. what you, the picture you've just painted then of the properties in France, it's something I, I, I could yeah. do. You know, I could live off my army pensions, you know. <laughs> but, you know. You could do this job. You could do what you're doing now with me yeah. from anywhere. Yeah, 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 exactly. Well, I'm sitting, sitting in my office looking out the window over my, my old garden. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> there's, 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 there's no reason why you should have. Uh, yeah. You, you, you can type on the internet anywhere in the world now. No, no it's true, mate. I, I mean, I, you're right. I mean, I'm sitting in the outside in the post office where he's pissing down the rain, <laughs> looking, at, looking at houses. <laughs> No, well, no, no. Well, well, well. Thank you, Sam. I know you're busy anyway, but I'll, I'll come and see you in Cardiff with my wife thank and you. daughter. Um, I might come and say hello as well, or something. I'll ask Debbie if that's okay. But anyway. But, say again. I say yeah. I might come and say hello to you and Angela, Angela, if in Cardiff, if if that's allowed, and you know, in, in Cardiff. So. Oh, it's too absolutely must. Come and say hello, mate. Yeah, uh, absolutely, because uh, that's what, the reason why we're going around the place is because. People can't come to us easily, but if we're there, yeah. I expect people will come and say hello, and we will be very approachable, don't worry, we, we will be around. It's interesting because there's so many people to chat to in so little time, but we mm. do spend all our time talking to people, that's what we do. Wonderful, wonderful. No, it's, it's been an amazing talking to you, mate, honestly, I really appreciate it. Thank you. Good to speak to you as well. 
Keep up the hard work. I will. Go for it. I, 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 I knew. I, I knew. I, I knew. I will very best.